pisses me off. What, Rachel? The annoying things dogs do. Now I've done annoying things moms do, annoying things dads do, annoying things siblings do, but I don't think I've ever done one about the annoying things dogs do. Now I freaking love my dog. I love all dogs. Dogs are great. There are a few things that most dogs do that are just the most annoying, but you can't help but also kind of love and think that they're adorable and like, you know, it's whatever. But they're annoying. Ready, let's begin. When they're outside, they constantly need to come back in just so they can go out again. This can't just be my dog. He blinds the back door to come in. You let him in, you close the door, and then he's like, wait, no. You got, what are you doing, crazy face? I need to go back outside. And vice versa. They'll do it when they're inside, go outside, be like, nah, this is what it is, and come back in. Also, my dog has a doggy door, and he just conveniently forgets about it. Like, I don't know what his deal is. He'll go through it when he really needs to go to the bathroom or something, but other than that, he'll whine at the back door until you let him out. Out, as if the doggy door just doesn't exist in that moment in time. You have a doggy door. You want me to open that door, don't you? <sighs> You're not gonna go out? Are you kidding me? Bro. Yeah. This door doesn't even open. You gonna come in? You just stand in there. My prince. They think they get a bite of whatever I'm eating, and they're not subtle about it. My dog, like he knows not to eat my food, but he's gonna sit there and he's gonna beg, and he's gonna get the big drool that comes off both sides of his cheek because he just wants that food so bad. I ever give him bites, but he thinks every single time he gets a bite. Like he's acting like he's starving. He's acting like if he doesn't get this bite of food, he will die. And he go out and there's food in his bowl. He's just a trickster. He's a greedy, doesn't appreciate what he has, trickster. So I know my dog is a giant. And so he can't help but take over the bed. Like he's, if he's on the bed, he's, he owns the bed. And he will not move. And he is heavy and it is difficult to get him to move. But I know little dogs do this too. They think they take up the bed. They will sit right dab in the middle and be like, this is my spot. Or whatever side you sleep on, they'll sleep in the middle of that spot. And little dogs got big energy because of that they take up the whole bed. They need to be involved in whatever it is you're doing. They have to investigate and they have to sniff it. No, this is, you're gonna cut yourself. Dude, you have to lick it. Don't sniff, don't sniff the camera. Don't, don't lick the camera. Doesn't concern you. Don't lick the cam. Don't lick the camera. Don't. Don't whine. Don't sigh while I'm filming this. You're a drama queen. Yeah, I'm talking crap about you. Deal with it. And also, when you're on the ground, it's fair game. You are fair game. If you're on the ground, they own the ground. If anything's on the ground, it's fair game to them. He always freaking takes my spot on the couch. We have a big couch. He'll be sleeping on one side, I'll be sitting on the other. I get up, I come back, he's in my freaking spot. And he will not move. And he gets angry. Oh, he gets angry. <sighs> That's him, that's my impression of my dog. Bro, I need to sit there to film. Dude, that's my filming spot. Can I have my spot back? Can I have my spot back? Give me my spot! Thank you. This is my spot. Bro, I need to sit there. Scooch. Yeah, is it, you wanna share? Can we share this spot? I let my dog bark when someone's at the door. I just do, I do. I like it, I let the, like the people knowing I have a big dog and I like knowing when someone's at the door. No one can sneak up to my door, he'll hear you. But sometimes 
He just won't believe me that no one's there. My dog doesn't bark much, but when he thinks someone's at the door, he's gonna bark. And there is nothing in the world that is going to convince him there's no one at the door unless I open the door and show him no one's at the door. And then he looks confused, like I made them disappear. He gives me a look like I'm the idiot. He's still sleeping right there. I'm not pointing to nothing, he's right there. <laughs> Nothing's there. No one's at the door, do you need to see? No one's at the door. Come on, no one's there. I told you! I told you no one was there! Don't, don't act like I'm the fool. You're the fool. Oh, this is another one. Okay, my dog, he isn't super slobbery, but I think he's more slobbery than little dogs. I'll put on a nice outfit. He'll come up, and because he has to be involved in everything, he comes up to sniff my outfit and rubs his face against my pants, and then I just have a huge slobber spot on my pants. It happens every time. That and the shedding. I can't wear nice clothes. <laughs> Giving them a bath turns into a Sarah McLaughlin commercial. He thinks I am torturing him. He thinks I am putting him through the world's worst experience by giving him lukewarm water and a non-scented shampoo that's gentle on his skin. I pamper this dude. I'm not throwing him in the backyard and hosing him down. No. I'm putting him in my bathtub with nice pressure, controlled temperature, not hot but not cold. I wipe him down with towels and then I take him on a nice half hour stroll for him to dry off. But every time he acts like I'm the worst person ever, and he just gets, he doesn't get angry, he just gets sad. He gives you that guilt trip eyeball thing that just breaks your soul. You all know it. It's, it's the worst one. It's the one that makes you feel like the worst human being on the planet. And it's the look they give you as you leave the house. And they know you're leaving them. And you know you're leaving them. You're gonna be back soon. Doesn't matter if it's a two minute trip or a three hour trip or a four day trip. You're going to feel guilty because they give you those freaking puppy eyes that murder your soul. I'll be right back, okay? I love you. I love you, okay? I'll be right back. Just a minute. We'll just be gone a minute, okay? I love you. I love you. The last one, just the unnecessary licks, man. Like, I get baths by him every hour. I come in the house, he immediately has to smell my hands and then lick off whatever smell is on my hands so it becomes his smell. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. And again, if you're on the ground, you're fair game. You're lick central if you're on the ground. Okay, you don't have to lick me. No thank you, no thank you, no thank you, no thank you. Thank you, no, thank you for the licks. That's good though. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right, we're done with the lips. Okay, no, we're all done. No, we're all done. I'm all done with the lips. All done. All done. No, all done. I mean, thank you for the kisses. I appreciate the What? Nothing's there. You think something's... Nothing's there. Trust me. Nothing's there. No, nothing is there. Trust me. Trust me. Nothing is there. Uh, no, nothing is there. It's daddy. Daddy is in the other room. You can calm down, it's just daddy. Yes, I promise. <sighs> I don't even know what I was talking about. But those are just some annoying things dogs do. Just like the cute little ones, you know. No one likes it when they dart out of a house or chase a cat or, you know. That's, no one likes that. But this is the stuff that's like, just the annoying little things they do every day that just kind of crush your soul a little bit. They're not even bad dogs. They're just, they just make you feel guilty. It's those things. But that's it for today. I hope you like this video. I enjoy doing videos with my dog. I always do. That's why I did it. But if you know any other annoying things dogs do, like the little things, the everyday things, and you're like, come on, bro. Like when they just run outside when it's wet and they come in with the muddy paws and they jump on the furniture, like, bro. But that's not every day. That's just when it's raining. Well, it might be every day from some places. In Southern California, that's like two weeks of the year. But yeah, and also, do you have any other annoying things that anybody does? Any category of annoyingness? I love doing these videos because I love love how annoying people are and I just like making fun of it because then it's not annoying anymore it's just kind of funny. I love you guys so much though subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel like this video if you liked it. Let's do a shout out. Where's my phone? Did you eat my phone? Did you eat my phone? I don't have my glasses on. Can't even see. Ugh, my neighbor's gardener started blowing leaves everywhere. All right, shout out for today. The person who retweeted my Rachel's Room video where I reacted to a seahorse giving birth. Let me tell you, that was exhausting to watch because it was probably very exhausting to do. He drops down to the floor after giving birth. That's right, he, the male, gives birth in the seahorse community. All right, so the person who retweeted that, Veronica. Thank you so much for retweeting that. I love you guys. Happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas. See you next time, and remember, above all else, stay awesome, possums.